morning. Today is Rose Peak, and that's down by the Muggy on Rim, um, past Hannigan's Meadow, uh, in northeastern Arizona. So it's going to be a short hike, so Sulu gets to go. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. What do you think, Sulu? You want to go for a hike? Ah, we're on the, uh, we're at the trailhead. For Rose Peak. Looks like about a mile hike. The oh, road goes up there, but I want to get out of the car and pump my legs a little bit. So, a uh, pretty whole big stand of oak up here, very large stand, uh, and pine. So, it's been a long time since I've been uh, this far south of Hannigan Meadow, and it's just really, really a gorgeous drive. So, highly recommend it. Uh, this should be a fairly simple hike. I think it's, uh, well, one mile. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do it. Should be, uh, it's very nice. Uh, temperature is about 62, 63 degrees right now. Um, high overcast. I believe we got another dose of the smoke coming up, winding its way over from California. So that's kind of a bummer, but uh, makes for good photography, right? So let's head up the trail slash road and uh, get to it alrighty then uh, I think we're about 100 yards from the car and I did did expect to see a uh, a gate up here which is fine you were following the road up it's a, a steady incline but low the dog was leading me there for a while and hell she's 15 years old so she's perky this morning I think she's happy to be out of the car we're almost at the top here so been a great hike so far ah. cool parking area for visitors when they allow it up on the peak because they got a windmill up there not moving uh, no breeze up here really well a tiny breeze and as we come out up here looks like they got uh, some VHF UHF stuff up here maybe so repeaters and then there's our lookout tower up here so nothing super special but uh, yeah, should be a nice setup here. I gotta look for a good uh, north-south where I'm not too blocked by metal roads and stuff like that. We'll get her done. These are some really old towers, all rusty and stuff. You got, looks like they're maintained though. All right, station setup complete. Um, I don't know if you can see the pole over there on that, tied to that dead tree. Uh, the line is about, I don't know, 20 feet up plus there, it comes across. Um, and then I'm tying it off to this old stump. And uh, here's my operating position. So there's the uh, soda mascot dog. She seems pretty happy. So we're gonna get it set up here and um, Send some cool waves.
Thanks, Charles. You're my fifth. All right, I'd say uh, great activation, 37 contacts, 34, 37, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, some great views off of here. Weather was nice, uh, 37 contacts. Four of those, whoops. Let's see, I got two summit to summit, so that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, currently at 8,700, so, um, about a 400 foot climb from the parking lot, I think. Uh, four or 500 foot. So it's nice. Yeah. Just kind of a, just kind of rolled in. Temperature's very mild. I think it's about 70 right now. It's really pretty, pretty nice in the sun. So I think the soda dog's ready to go. She tried to tell me several times. Let's go. We're gonna take the trail down and I'll show you that up next okay we're looking pretty much due west just to those trees I believe down through Safford we should be able to get to the uh, Safford repeater but we're looking off the muggy on the rim here um, we're not at the highest point there's some other kind of maybe a little stop on the way back some good vistas off to the right there is the uh, lookout tower and there's some living quarters here so looks like they've got the gutters set up to drain into maybe a little cistern here so that's nice and pull some water out of there all right so we're gonna head this way around back if you take the trail up and I'll show you that right here um, you can see I came up the road but uh, we're gonna take this trail back and it's kind of a, a line trail so the dog is wondering where the hell I'm going She's like, we didn't come up this way. So, yeah. This should be some, some nice views off of here. Uh, I don't think they got enough rain up here. Some of this, there was a small fire that came through here. That's something about lookout towers that attracts fires, but. <laughs> um, stuff is dead and dying. But uh, this oak comes back pretty nice, so no worries. We're on the southwest side of the mountain, and I just thought I'd give you a little better look here off to the southeast through this valley here. See the road way down there? So, yes, yeah, Sulu, we'll get going. All right, let's go. This is a nice little single track here. Um, we're paralleling the first part of the road. But, uh, pretty steep coming off this. But, uh, yeah, very pretty. So just a couple of switchbacks on here and it gets it done. The road is a little bit longer. And uh, I think this is more scenic. But uh, by taking the road, you kind of see the other side of the mountain a little bit more. So different views. I'd recommend doing the loop like I did. It's always nice having a different way down than when you came up. Good hike. So the um, entrance to this little trail here is uh, blocked by those little logs and it comes out right onto that road. So if you're coming up the road, which is super obvious from the parking lot, um, you'll notice it. So there's the gate and my car is right through, through the trees. And it's still here, so that's always a good sign. Great hike today. Um, pretty simple and uh set up got to work 37 contacts and my dx contact for today was guadalajara mexico so uh that was nice it took me a few times the qsb was pretty bad uh the signal his signal was up and down so i got xe and then i'd lose him xe and then i'd lose him then i got xe2 so it took me a while to kind of 
get him and then when he came back the last time it was nice and strong so it was uh it was very good so i'm gonna give the dog some water here and uh, we're gonna head back up the trail here if i have a chance i'll stop and uh we'll get some vistas it's kind of hazy today with that smoke so anyway 73 guys thanks for watching and uh if you're new to summits on there or you want to you want to learn how to do it i have a channel or a series on a youtube channel called soda 360 and it starts out with why do soda then um all the planning and how how i do planning and everything that goes into it how to find a peak etc chart a way to get up here and then um uh a reference activation basically what i did today activated um and then the last piece uh, there's some pieces on safety and hiking and the last part is how to up your load your logs and why would you want to do that so um if you'd like to try and uh, do summits on the air with ham radio uh that's a maybe a good place to start i know that a few people have told me it's uh, pretty helpful so um you can find that at hamninja.com slash SOTA 360 um, and uh, you can also just get out that, that'll put you right on my YouTube tube channel onto the series so with that I'll say 73 thanks chasers and activators have an awesome day